What is up guys and gals, my name is Mr. Cherries and today we're doing a new Roblox tutorial. First, before we get on to the tutorial, I'd like to say welcome to this video. A guy requested me to do a tutorial who is called R.E.P. RNZ I think his name is. He said to me, how do you make your thumbnails? Please make a cool Roblox thumbnail. And you know what? That's not a problem. I will do that for you and I'll be doing some, I'll be doing a few demonstrations of how you can make your thumbnail look good for your Roblox videos. So let's get right onto it. Okay, first you're going to open Paint.net. Now, most people use Paint.net as it's a free program. Unless if you don't have Paint.net, then the link will be in the description below for you to go directly to the download page. So there you go, guys. It's in the description. So now we're going to create a new file. So um, the way I have the file is that, um, well, I select pixels or inch, but I just call it pixels. And the way I do this is by saying it to 1920 by 1080. So 1920 is the width, 1080 is the height of it. So there you go, guys. That is the high resolution for this. But you don't have to do it, really. You could do 1280 by 720. So, so that's 1280 by 720. Well, you guys probably know this, but, but for those of you that are not experienced with this, well, this is the way I do it, really. So there we go. I'm going to set back to 1920 by 1080 now so there we go now click ok and then i'll press ctrl and minus so there we go so we got a page right there and uh we don't need the white background i'm going to click the magic wand tool click on it and then press the delete to cut it so there we go or you could use the cut tool up there and then we'll make a new layer and then we're going to go into google uh google images and we'll type in robux logo so there we go robux logo all right, and then we'll go on images. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're going to go into the uh, this uh, transparent logo. So as you can see, um, I'm not sure if you can tell if it's transparent, but there's like checkered, there's like a checkered pattern at the back of this logo. So if you find this, that, that means it's transparent. So if you find something that's checkered at the background, it shows that it's transparent. So we're going to get this logo. So we're going to right click it, copy image, go back into paint.net edit then paste so there we go guys we got ourselves a transparent logo and now we're going to go into robux studio right now oh and guys before we go over this if you're going to p uh, paste an image on this bit make sure you have this layer selected i forgot to say so now we're going to go over this right now all right guys i'm on the develop page right now so if if none of you have robux studio then uh simply go over here and click download and it'll eventually give you the download so yeah guys i am on robux studio and right here this is my green screen and room and i'm gonna use edit mode okay guys so we use edit mode because it's much more easier to build places and guys don't use build mode because it, you know, you play as your character really. Well, I know you play as your character. I know it's easy to do, but it's going to get in the way of your shots. So you don't want that. So we're going to use edit mode. And that's why, that's the reason why I want to, you know, give you guys some high quality thumbnails and stuff like that. So there we go. <clears throat> that's all I'm saying about edit mode. That this is, this is why you mostly use really. So let me sort this character out. All right. So we have a text and a health bar up there. And the way to get rid of it, we're going to, uh, yeah. So get rid of model and then we'll space bar it and then the text is gone. So there we go. And then we need to get rid of the health bar as well. So and to do this, you have to edit the humanoid in properties. So scroll down, uh, reduce the health by 100, jump power zero, no, reduce the health uh, to zero, jump power zero, max health zero, same as health. And I'll just put zero on all in, in the game. <laughs> so there we go. <coughs> I'm sorry if you're finding my cough boring, but you know, it just let me know if I shouldn't do videos while I'm sick. But you know, I, I gotta release videos for you got to keep you guys entertained and more educated, really. <laughs> right, now we're going to make our character pose and the way I'm gonna do it is um I'm gonna pose him with a sword. So um I cl so I, I select an arm, so the arm's selected, and we're gonna click on rotate. And the way I'm going to do it is by adjusting uh, these like little circles. If you can see these red little circles, you have like lines going over them. And that tells you where, where you're going to, 
Well, I can't explain it properly, but but if I demonstrate, then you'll see what I mean. So this is uh, so this is what I do. I I use the rotation tool to move these arms to make him pose. Like 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 it's actually, you know. You know what I'm trying to say, Roy. So we make it like that. <coughs> God, I'm gonna be coughing in every video. So there we go. And then we'll do the other arm as well. And uh, we'll rotate this a little bit like this. So like that. And then we'll move it towards the arm. And there. Hang on. Uh, uh, make it like that. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Pretty realistic. And yeah, and now we're gonna need a sword. Oh, hang on. But first, before I get a sword, I'm gonna I'm gonna tilt his head. So we'll select these, uh, including the clockwork shades. Uh, the humanoid doesn't really matter. The hair for beautiful people. The handle, which is the antlers, and the head, which is obviously the head. Yes. Yeah, so there we go. And then we'll use the rotation tool. We'll take the green bit. And yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, now we'll get a sword. <coughs> so I'll get a linked sword, which is a very old sword since uh, 2006. It's so 2006, this one. So 10 years ago, nearly. All right. <coughs> okay, so where's the sword? Where is it? Oh, there we go. Oh, let me get the sword. <sighs> Sorry about this, guys. <coughs> Because everything I do with scripting and stuff, it just keeps screwing up. But um, I, I liked I liked scripting um, a few a, a while back, so that's the reason why I didn't really do tutorials very much. But um, but this is tutorial. This is something that I could help you guys with um, trying to improve your place. And then we'll, we'll rotate the sword again, so like this, yeah. This is really awesome. This is awesome. Oh. Put it up a bit. Yeah. Oh, this is really cool. Look at that, guys. There we go. All right, so now we're going to open up Fraps. And uh, this is what I use to record videos with and screenshot, uh, take screenshots, Ray. Right? So uh, if you don't know what Fraps is, it's basically a video recording software that is able to record real-time video animations and graphics in the game with a with a software obviously so this is what i use and this is pretty good pretty good and and you know i could change the frames per second with this and uh you know i can uh save it to which folder i can then i can you i can edit that catch hot capture key you know i can i can maybe well i kept on f9 but i didn't really use my macro keys uh, i'm not going to talk about the same i'm going to talk about screenshot in this so uh, the way I the way I take screenshots is by pressing F10, as you can see with this capture hop key. So I set it to F10. You can set it to anything like F6 or something, but I just keep it on F10. So there we go. And the image format, um, I don't think it it really matters. You know, JPG is well, it means JPEG, but I keep it on BMP because you know keeps quality really. And uh, yeah, and uh, it's going to be saved in a Fraps file, which I'll show you in a sec. Maybe when we get back to Paint.net. So uh. Yeah, and now nah, I want to close. I want to minimize this. So, uh, yeah, guys. Um, hang on. Let I'll I'll zoom out. Yeah, it's my recording that's making me lag. So there we go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. We're in a good position right here. So so once you're in a good position, press F10, and there we go, guys. We got the um we got the picture. So the way you're gonna find the picture, if it's saved in a Fraps folder, you're gonna go into the, your file manager. You're gonna go into local disk or whichever you got. Uh, program files, no, sorry, um, the Fraps file, sorry. And then screenshots, and this is where you're gonna have your screenshots saved. So, so there we go. This is the catch. This is the screenshot that we got just now. So, um, I'm gonna get the other photos, which will be the background. Um, I, I think, I think you guys are are gonna do that because I think you're all big boys and girls now. So, yeah, guys, I shall see you in Paint.net. Okay guys, I just got myself another picture, so we're gonna make a new layer. Uh, put layer two on top of layer three. So, um, like I said about the file manager, so it's located in your Fraps file. So local disk, Fraps, screenshots. And then uh, let's get our background first. Um, oh, let's just add a layer on this one. 
So yeah, there's our background. Uh, let's place it under layer two. So there's a background. So we're, we're going to stretch this out a bit by holding down shift and then dragging that. There we go, this seems perfect. All right, so press enter and there we go. So this is looking great, guys. This is looking absolutely great. So now we're going to get our other thumbnail, which will be our character. Add layer. <clears throat> I think we'll get rid of layer three. I don't think it really matters. So under layer two. So there we go. Um, and as you can see, you still have the green screen. So, so to fix that, we're going to use the magic wand tool. So click on the green screen and then cut. And as you and as you can see on the antlers, you have some left over. So so control and plus to zoom in. So we're going to get rid of that. So click and then delete by cutting it. And then there's some left over as well. You you can you can see that. I'm not sure you can guys see, but there's some like right there. Delete that. All right. So now we can zoom out. Okay, so this is looking great. This is really perfect, absolutely perfect. So I don't, I don't know if I if I could give it a shadow or something like that. So we'll make this a bit bigger. So there, so there we go. So there we go, guys. <clears throat> this is looking absolutely great. And yeah, I I think this is great. Okay, so now I'm going to add a text which will be. Um, the title of this video. So, um, let me get a good, yeah, a gang of free font. So there we go. <coughs> and again, I coughed. But still, I'm sorry if you're finding this annoying. But just let me know. So how to make a thumbnail. Uh, well, I, I shall change it. <laughs> Okay, um, let's change it to this one. Okay, this is this is great. Okay, like that, and then uh, I'll make it bigger. I'll make it bigger. So there we go. Um, oh yeah, this is fine. All right, we'll place it right there. Move the character a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, this is great. And now <clears throat> I'm going. I'm going to add a gradient to the uh, text. So I'll add a gradient. Um, it's quite optional, so you don't have to add a gradient to your text or anything like that. But it's quite optional, and it's what I do at least, really. And uh, and the secondary, I'll make it orange. I'll give it a little orangey color. Okay. okay. So now click and then hold Shift to drag it up. Oh, where is the... Oh, I'm in the wrong layer. Oh, my God. Silly me. Wrong layer. Uh, okay, there we go. <coughs> God, I need to drink some water soon. <laughs> All right, back to layer five. And then click this. That. And then we'll delete this. Oh, oh, actually, that this is wrong. Yeah. All right, back on layer six. And there we go. And we'll get rid of that text, and then there we go. Now this is looking absolutely great. So we got a gradient text. So if you guys want want to learn how to do gradient text, you know, just let me know. But I, but I don't think there's no point really because you just saw me how to do gradient text. So there we go. And yeah, guys, this is how you make a Roblox thumbnail. So so the next thing you're going to need to do is to uh, put the layers down together. So we'll. Put this one down with the thumbnail then down to the background down to the thumbnail and then this one so there you go guys so all you gotta do is save it as a jpeg file and that's that that's what i basically do for a youtube video or or whatnot so save it as a jpeg file and this is where i save my youtube thumbnails so we're gonna save it as how to make a roblox thumbnail <laughs> Thumbnail. All right, there we go. So, so this is how you make a thumbnail. If you find this video really helpful, then please drop a comment below or or whatnot. Give this a like. You know, if you got any questions or just have any general queries, then do drop a comment below and subscribe for more videos and more tutorials. But not scripting tutorials because you know it's just lack of skill really. And 
you know, I didn't have, I didn't really have time to make games and stuff. So, so yeah, guys, ask me anything. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching and goodbye for now. Ready, aim, fire.